plastic waste, I think we've recognized in our society, is a really enormous challenge. Uh, and it's, it's a challenge that will take a lot of different solutions to solve. I'm Dr. Frank Leibfarth. I'm an associate professor in the chemistry department at UNC Chapel Hill. So my group thinks a lot about how we try to contribute to the challenge of plastic waste. What we've focused on so far is this class of plastic known as polyolefins. This is polyethylene, which is typically used as milk jugs or as a plastic bag you get from the grocery store, and polypropylene, uh, which is plastic Tupperware containers, you know, uh, yogurt containers, or the outside of uh, many cars is a polypropylene composite. So this is by far the largest class of plastics, and it's also the most difficult to recycle because of the chemistry. So we've been thinking about how do we develop a molecule uh, that is perfectly tuned to react with a carbon-hydrogen bond that can actually go in and pluck off a hydrogen and replace it with a chemical group that actually makes that plastic more useful, more functional, and has better properties. And ideally, if we can do that on plastic waste, right, then we can get into this uh, idea of upcycling plastic waste. Upcycling is the idea that you take plastic waste and you actually use that as a valuable resource and you take it and do a chemical modification on it that actually makes it more valuable than the original material that was made directly from petroleum resources. And we haven't kind of solved the chemistry and economic and kind of social issues that we need to solve to, to really put this in the world right now. But we hope to get there. There's no one silver bullet solution to this. There's going to be many different solutions, right, that create this kind of more circular plastic economy that we all dream of. Uh, so I think upcycling can hopefully fit into that. Uh, and that's the exciting part about being in this field. There's a huge problem, it's an international problem, uh, and there's lots of places where science, I think, can contribute and uh, make sure that the technologies we're putting in place actually don't further contribute to things like climate change or, or CO2 emissions.